Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be walking you through how to manage online events using TicketTailor. The first thing you need to do is head to your TicketTailor account, go to the event section and click on add a new event. Enter the name of your event and then choose your start and end time. Then click on the checkbox down here to identify that it's an online event. You'll then be able to select from the drop down which platform your event is going to be hosted on. We'll choose Zoom for this example, and then you can see here that on the right we have a field visible where you can enter your online event link. If you have it ready to go, you can go ahead and add it now, but if not, you can still put the event live without it and then add it at a later point, as we have a feature which automatically creates a holding page for online links. We'll show you what that looks like once we save the event. So finish adding the additional details for your event listing, such as a description and adding an image if you like, and then you want to add your ticket type. This is where you can select whether your event is free or if attendees will need to pay for tickets. You can also update the text as to what people will see when they're making their booking. Once that's saved, you can then edit further settings, such as what will display on the event button. For example, for this one, we might want it to say reserve space. Then hit save event to save it as a draft. Okay, so now we've saved the event in a draft state, we can go ahead and preview to see what it will look like from the customer's perspective. And you can see here that it's marked as an online event, Zoom. And then if we go ahead and place a test order, so order one ticket, and I'll just put some test details in here. We'll then see the order confirmation page that your customers will see when they place an order and these same details will also be emailed to them. And this is the link that we mentioned earlier on that is automatically generated when you build your event. So if we go ahead and click on that link, this is what the holding page will look like. And then if you go back and edit your event to add your event link, this page will then automatically update and redirect customers to the link that you've added. Okay, so our last step is to check that you're happy with the order confirmation email that's sent whenever someone places an order. So back on the event page in Ticket Tailor, under edit, click on order confirmation. And here you can either have a one size fits all email for all of your events, or you can create a bespoke email per event. So for this example, let's specifically edit it for this event. Now we're in the email template editor where you can customize the email however you like in terms of things like the color of the text or adding in additional details for them. And then if you would prefer not to use the online event link placeholder that we demoed just now, you can simply delete the placeholder by selecting it and hitting delete and then replace it with your own text or link. But we'll leave it in for this example. Then you can hit save and you should now all be set. Your customers can order tickets for your online event and they'll receive an email confirmation with joining instructions when they place their order. And then one final tip we recommend is to send out an email to all of your attendees the day of the event to remind them of the joining instructions. To do that, just head to broadcasts under the manage area here on the left, and then you can hit create broadcast to send your message out to all of your ticket buyers. So in the main message, you can use placeholders to pre-fill details from the customers and then enter the main body that you want to share with them. And then you can schedule whether you want to send it immediately or at a specific date and time. And then just hit the terms and conditions and schedule broadcast. And then that will go out to all of your customers at the time that you set. And that's it. If you need any more help getting your online event set up, please don't hesitate to reach out to us anytime by our help center.